My question is to the Treasurer. How does the Albanese Labor government's responsible budget help ease cost of living pressures and what approaches were rejected? The call to the Treasurer. Thanks, Mr Speaker, and thanks to the wonderful member for Gilmore for her question and for all of her work uh, in our team and on behalf of her community. Uh, we know on this side of the House, Mr Speaker, that a lot of Australians are under pressure. And because of the budget last night, more help is on the way. Uh, this is a responsible budget, which is all about yeah, easing cost Fisher, of living pressures and fighting inflation and investing in the future of our people and their economy, Mr Speaker. The cost of living relief in the budget is both substantial and responsible. There is a tax cut for every Australian taxpayer in the budget. There is energy bill relief for every Australian household in the budget. There is a second round of Commonwealth rent assistance in the budget, Mr Speaker, as well, because we know that renters are under pressure. And there are billions of dollars set aside in the budget to make medicines Order. cheaper for our people and particularly for our concession cardholders. Mr. Speaker. And there are other measures in the budget as well. $7.8 billion in cost of living relief in addition to a tax cut for every Australian taxpayer. Mr. Speaker. Now, as I said, that cost of living relief is substantial, but it's also responsible. One of the defining features of this Albanese Labor government and the budget we handed down from this dispatch box last night is responsible economic management, which has helped us to clean up the mess that those opposite left behind in the budget. That's how we, do, we are delivering Order. a second surplus, which would be the first back-to-back -back surpluses in almost two decades, Mr yeah. Speaker. That's how we're finding savings. That's how we're paying down debt. That's how we're avoiding interest costs on the debt that we inherited, the Liberal debt that we inherited from those opposite, Order, Mr Speaker. And we're getting the budget in much better, Nick, not instead of helping people doing it tough, but as well as helping people doing it tough, Mr Speaker. That's why what we've been able to do last night, getting the budget in better, Nick, providing cost of living relief for people at the same time as we invest in the future, this is a key reason why we have turned the inflation with a six in front of it over to those opposite into inflation with a three in front of it. But it's not mission accomplished, Mr Speaker, because we know that people are still under pressure. And that's why people under pressure were the defining influence on the budget that we handed down last night, Mr Speaker. Inflation is still the number one near-term concern that we have in the economy. And that's why the budget was so responsible. That's why the budget was so attentive to cost of living pressures that people are under, and we found a way to provide that cost of living relief at the same time as we serve our intergenerational responsibilities to build the next generation of prosperity. Yeah.